Kennedy, I think the uh, thing that I'm most interested in at this point in the season is how is that knee? And, and what, first of all, what did you do to it? So with the knee, I haven't been wearing my basketball knee pads all season because, you know, I thought I didn't need them. Right. And then during when the ice was on, I was walking out of catch him. My coaches had just told me not to fall. So I was walking like <laughs> super slow and everything. Yeah, I slipped up on the ice, ended up falling on it. Um, and I talked to our athletic trainer, and they think that I broke my bursitis side. Oh, okay, right. And so now just any time in a game I hit it, it's just super sore, and it's still sold up. But hopefully it goes away soon. Yeah, well, I'm having trouble visualizing this because did you fall forward and hit your knee? So, like, what happened is I was stepping off the curb, and my right foot slipped out from under me, and then my left knee just went straight oh, down. Oh, like, gotcha. Uh, yeah. that's, that's painful. Yeah, it painful. Was, it sold up pretty big. <laughs> yeah, I saw the picture of it. It was like a baseball had been inserted underneath yeah. your kneecap. How hard has it been to play on? Um, it's been a little rough because it's just I'll hit it in a game and it'll sting really bad. And my coaches will notice, and so they'll take me out just to give me a little break and to get it back where, walk it off, right, and stuff. So it's been tough, but just trying to play through it and hopefully, like I said, it goes away soon. Kiefer from Runkles. Nice fake, and she got it. Kennedy Kiefer, her first basket. Well, when you're not in there, it's a little bit different team. Your your post moves especially have been uh, uh, so dynamic. What's your background? I mean, where'd you learn how to play post like that? Is it something that's still developing? So, yeah, I'm still working on it every day, and, like, I watch film a lot just to learn from, like, my mistakes and make my moves better. But I'd honestly have to say that, like, my post moves came from my high school team and my high school coach. Um, one of my coaches, Terry McKitty, was actually he's actually my uncle. Oh, okay. And so he worked a lot with me. It was a lot of hours put in the gym after practices working on them and just trying to improve in any way I can. Right. When you miss a shot, does that bug you? <laughs> it does. Um, it's more like the close shots. Like when I do miss a post move, like it bugs me because I know I can finish them. I do them in practice all the time. And so it's just frustrating, especially in close games and stuff, when you miss small shots right. like that. But, right. yeah. Yeah. Um, how about defensively? Uh, you, what's your strength defensively? Uh, I'd say defensively. I'm really good at help defense. Sometimes I help a little too much. Right. Um, but just being in there and trying to take a charge when I can rather than trying just to swat at the ball and right. stuff. Because I'm not as tall as Day. I can't block right. like her. I wish I could, but... Well, I was going to ask you about that. The the night at Southeast where she had seven blocks in about a three-minute span. Have you ever seen anything like that? Oh, I've never. It was crazy because I know even my girl got away from me once. And I called, like, I yelled her name to help me. And she just went in there and swatted it like it was nothing. Walked off. I was just like, okay, that works. <laughs> right, I mean. right, right. Talk about taking a charge, because you had one of those on Saturday against St. Louis. I know at least one. Uh, that takes some that takes some guts to hang in there. Yeah, it's kind of a funny story. I get made fun of about my charges all the time, <laughs> because when I take a charge, I just go ahead and do like this backwards somersault right. out of it. Um, and I played soccer for four years, and okay. that's just the way I got up when I played goalie. And so it's just funny to watch me do it. Everybody makes fun of me, but... I don't know. To me, it kind of cushions the blow a little sure. bit because your momentum's all going backwards. Absolutely. So that reminds me of a volleyball roll when, when yeah, volleyball that players too. will do a back roll like yeah, that. Yeah, I played volleyball too. I so. was going to ask you uh, in the fall, did you play volleyball? Spring soccer is that the way it worked? Mm -hmm. And you were a goalie in uh, in soccer. Yeah, I'm betting you're a middle hitter in volleyball. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Why basketball? Why'd you pick basketball? Um, I picked basketball because it was just what challenged me the most. Um, I get up every day and when I go to practice and stuff, like I push myself to like go hard and to make the, when we run, to make the time in running or to try to sprint and during games and get the pa easy passes, easy layups. Um, it just really pushes me mentally and physically. Let me ask you this, uh, are you a perfectionist? That's kind of what I've heard. Yeah, I am. And I think that all goes back to when I miss a post move. It's just like, that should be natural to me because I've been playing post since freshman year right. of high school. So um, I think it's just frustrating on that note because I've been working on it for so long. I feel like it should be like really yeah, easy. Of so yeah. What about school? Do you approach school the same way? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm definitely a perfectionist in school too, and I like to work ahead and get things done <laughs> and be in order and stuff. So. It just kind of, the perfectionist is just kind of my whole life. <laughs> right. Well, Kennedy, if you would, please tell us a little bit about your family. 
So uh, my mom and dad are Kim and Jason Kiefer. My dad's really tall, where okay. I get my height from. And then I have three other sisters, a younger sister who's seven, middle one, which is 13, and then an older sister who's like 25. Play some two-on-two -two in the driveway occasionally? Oh, yeah, for sure. We got a whole uh, – we used to have an old shop that we tore down, and we made a basketball court out of it. Nice. And so it's nice and fun to go shoot with her and stuff. So. Right, right. What do your mom and dad do? Uh, my mom's a high school teacher, and my dad works at Wire Rope in okay. Chillicothe. Okay. Well, I guess finally I'd like to know, what are your plans for post-college, whether it's uh, here, four-year college? What, what do you want to do when you're done with basketball? Um, I think once I get done with basketball, it ultimately depends whether I want to keep playing sports or not. Um, I thought about going and trying to play soccer at a school if I'm still in the sports type. Right. shape because of my right. body I don't know with basketball it's pretty rough on my body <laughs> oh, yeah. so if I'm still able to play sports I may go try to play soccer but um, the whole goal is to get my physical therapy degree oh that'd be great yeah. and then you can work on your own knee. yeah right try to fix myself from <laughs> yeah, all the right. battle scars Kennedy thank you so much it's been a pleasure visiting with you thank you and we'll be back with more after this